Hi, my name is Nina Park and I'm a makeup artist. Hey, I'm Hunter, I'm here at Cosmo today and we're playing with eyes. The first look that we're doing is more focused on the inner and outer corner as well as a little below the eye. We're going to use really soft muted colors. So I'm using a creamy green, but instead of going straight in, I really want it to be a light wash. So I'm going to work it in with this brush to make sure I have the right opacity. I'm using a smaller taper brush to really focus on this inner corner and have control as to how much and how much space I want to put the green on. I don't wear makeup. Part of why I don't wear makeup is because I'm lazy. I think like being a model for a year kind of got me used to just walking around with nothing on my face because that's the industry standard. I'm just using the same brush and whatever's left on my brush, I'm just going to drag it along the bottom lash line. I don't really have a skincare routine aside from uh, moisturizing. Usually you just uh, shower my makeup off when I get home and then put a little moisturizer on and go to bed. The Euphoria makeup looks are different for every character and for Jules in particular I think it's about um, expressing a particular mood. And then I'm just going to pop kind of like a metallic shimmer just in the corner to open it up. I'm using a brush that's a little tapered to really focus on the area and then kind of circling it around to diffuse it. I feel like you need to rock this look. It's really cute. Thank you. You're welcome. We can wear her out today. <laughs> What's her name? Huh? What's her name? What's this look's name? Oh, wait, I haven't seen her. Oh, Gartrush. I'm just going in with a mid-tone. <clears throat> just to put a little bit on the crease, but keeping the center area open to really get the inner and outer accent, um, accentuated. That was pretty quick, too. One down. Woo! We're gonna do a watercolory washes, just bright colors, muted colors together. So I have like this teal, paint that I'm really going to move around to get the sheerest amount and just straight on the lid. I'm using my fingers to really warm up the product so it comes off as a nice wash to the eye. The time it takes to create the look really depends on which look it is. In episode six, like, there's gold flakes all over her face. And so that look took, I wanna say like almost an hour and a half. They were like picking out the individual sizes of each flake to make sure it lined up right, you know? You haven't seen my favorite look, the Jules face yet. Um, I'm basically just kind of creating the, the canvas of creating washes and, and emphasizing on the teal in the middle with the orange. And now I'm gonna go with some pink and create an underwash in the bottom here. I'm using more pointier taper brushes to really get in and get an exact placement of each color. There's no like real formula to placement, so you can really add and put it in wherever you want. I have always loved cream because it's easier to work with and blend in with your fingers or a brush. And I think it just looks the most, I think it's the most flattering than powdery shadows all over. I think it's pretty, pretty cool like watercolors. Just to intensify the teal in the center, I'm gonna go in with a teal eyeshadow that's matte. This is great too because it shows different variations of the teal. I'm gonna go in with some orange, just kind of pop it in. I'm just kind of going for it. I think that all these kind of tones work together, so it's really however you're feeling. I know that I want to create like a high blush here, so that's why I dragged the pink out. But everything else, just you can have fun with it. I think for the blush, I'm gonna go in with a tapered blending, like eyeshadow brush, because I really want to have your faces. Well. Really want to taper it down and drop it on the high points of the cheeks. What I like about this look is it's really buildable, so you can really get the intensity that you want, or keep it super soft. 
It's like rainbow fish. Love that book, me too. <laughs> Lastly, I'm just gonna go in with like a nice illumin like a illuminator highlighter that's kind of greasier. Close. And just gonna pop that right in the inner corner. It's fun. It's fun. Okay, for our last look, we're gonna do a lavender eye. Just do it all over the lid, make it super shiny and glossy. What do you think? I think, yes. I admire Kelsey Lou's makeup. She has fun with it, and um, I think it reminds me a lot of what we do with jewels. So I'm just using the lavender. I mixed three colors to get the perfect lavender hue. And then I'm just kind of putting it straight in the center, and then we're gonna buff out the edges with a clean, fluffy brush. And just with the, like a pencil brush, smudging it along the bottom lash line. And I'm just gonna go with clear gloss. It's got like a texture like honey, so the way that it sits on the eye is just glazed. It's basically like a lip gloss that you could use on your eyes, cheeks, and lips. We're putting gloss on. The brush I use is a tapered synthetic brush, and I like it because it fits right into the hollows of the crease and just tapping it on. I'm just gonna add a little bit to the inner corner. I wish glossy lids were like life proof, you know? Life proof and that the gloss wouldn't leave? Yeah, it would just like stay on for more than like 10 minutes. Same thing with lip gloss. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to Cosmo.